Hey y'all, Amy here. Welcome back to the farm. So it is afternoon and we are going to be loading up a load of cows to take to market. Um, it's, all, it's mostly bulls, a few older cows. And so what we're going to start with is we fixed the catch pen area. I'll take you over there. Hang on. I don't have my camera stand with me right now. So you have to bear with me. Um, the catch pen area is really old. Okay, y'all, really old. And so when it's time to use it, you kind of have to, you kind of have to do the best you can with what you've got. Okay. Um, so there's a few falling down things, a few falling down gates, got all that fixed. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put a roll of hay in the center of the clutch pen area to lure all the cows in here. Okay. So Brian's bringing it in. He's going to go through that gate right there and put it in there. part is going to be sorting out the cows once we get them all in here. So the way it's set up out here is there's this first part here. This is the gate opens up to this section right here that's out to the field. And then they come through right here. They, they have this corner where their salt block and stuff is. And they go through that section there. And that's the interior part of the catch pen here. Okay. And then on the other side of the tractor is the beginning of the chute. The chute runs down all back here. Now you've seen this chute many times before if you've seen my cap pulling videos. Cows don't know this is in here right now. I'm not exactly sure how to get them to know that it's in here. A few there, and they're all along that fence line back there. Now this out here, that's what we call our hay trailer. That's where we, we move it a couple of times a year, and that's where the hay gets put up on the hay trailer. Um, Brian's gonna try doing is he's gonna put some hay the back of the side by side, drive it out there and show them and see if they'll follow them up. But while I'm out here, I'll show you. So this is the gate to the inside part. And then that right there is the chute that goes down. Like I said, y'all, it's old. Um, so this is the chute and it opens down here at the end. You back the trailer up and that gate in there opens. And you run them down the chute. They're all talking to them. They see the hay. Yeah, come on in here. Oh, she's so excited. What are y'all 
doing? Blackberry. Blackberry. <laughs> oh, and now, okay, Pepper's gonna do this. Pepper and Blackberry, they're gonna get excited. Girls, my word. These two black ones right here have to go. And he's after a red one out there. Those are all bulls. Yeah. Ethel! What is it? That little red one, he's like, uh uh. Uh uh. Y'all, I'm trying to video for you, but I might have to leave. I'm not standing where they have to go through, but I think I'm too close. I think they don't like it. Not over there. Sorry, Brian. Okay, Brian's already got some of the mamas cut out. 
out this gate. We're cutting out some of the mamas that don't belong in here. Come here. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come out. This is the gate. This is the chute. That's the gate down there on the end. At least the other small catch area. We've got three cows left in there that need to come out. And there, I'll lock her up. Yeah, load her first. You want to tell them how old Buddy is and why he's still here? I don't know. 15 years old or so? Well, when we were dating is when they had the bad bull. And um, my brother Daniel broke his oh, ankle yeah. trying to load That's him. That's when I jumped that. It's like 10 foot? Yeah. So when we were dating, were we engaged yet? So about 14 years ago, our 13th wedding anniversary is coming up. It's actually next week. Um, but when we were no. engaged, stop, stop. It. His daddy had a really bad bull here, and I, we were out here, no. and my brother came. We were trying to load him, and he went right through fences. Gates. Daniel broke his ankle, right? Was it his ankle or his wrist? His ankle. And Brian here cleared a 10-foot fence and uh, trying to get away from him. Flat Ended up <laughs> flat-footed to 10 feet. Ended up having to hire some cowboys to come out here. Ooh. There's Lucy. Oh, good. Come on, Luce. Come on. There we go. As they're... I'll hold the gate. As they're deciding to leave the area, when the females that are keeping come over, we just let them out and then put them through there. So, anyway, um, this bull here, Buddy, I guess that'd make him 12 or so, probably. He's probably about two years older than Gotti. He's older than a bull should be that runs with a herd. And he's been around for a long time. Oh, nope. Hold on, I gotta chain this one. I do not, I don't think I can hold this gate against her. She's the mean one. No ma'am, no ma'am. She decides she wants to come through that, nope, she will. She's not. She will. Put in a chalk hole. <laughs> oh. Let me get her in there. She can be the first one we load. There we go. Whew. Hallelujah. She's a mean one, y'all. She's the mean one. 
don't think any others are really mean. She is. They're all just skittish. Except for her. Okay. Alright, as y'all can see on this side of the catch pin, there's metal. And tell them why. I just keep spinning them around. Because back when we had the crazy cow, if they crazy could bull. see the other cows out there when they wanted to get to them, the crazy ones just ran through it. So we try and block their vision as much as possible. Y'all had some Brahmas and stuff, right? The Brahmas is what we some had. Some of the crazy ones. Big Brahma with a big hump. Mm -hmm. His name was Charlie. She's gonna try to come through that. Look at her. I'm gonna turn y'all around. She's probably about to bust it. Yeah. That's what we want out of here. Yeah. I'm gonna come park the tractor in front of this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because then come right through this rickety gate. So what we're doing right now, which I didn't very well explain, is that we're just sorting through the cows and getting them ready, or the bulls out, and getting them ready to load up. Clover is the one cow that is going because she has had multiple uh, infertility issues. Well, she actually had miscarriages and then issues after that and so she's gonna go and then the rest of the bulls are gonna go but who is coming with the bigger trailer his name's randy randy oh i know okay someone named randy is coming with a bigger trailer that's gonna hold everybody else she's gonna try to go over yep got that on film clover Okay, well, yeah, what I was going to say was that his daddy, my father-in-law, will be here shortly. And the guy with the bigger cow trailer, we're going to load them up. Now that the gate to the chute is busted, we got to figure out, we got to get another gate put up there to hold them so we can get them in the loading area and then down the chute. Because if we can't hold them in there, we can't get them in there. Get. Get. Back up. I heard a door shut. Is your daddy here? If she decides she's going to come through that gate, I just give her little zap so she done and I don't see it anywhere. Where'd the hot shot go? I haven't had to use the hot shot since I had pigs. I had boars that would fight really bad and wouldn't quit and have one trying to kill the other one. That was, y'all remember those days? This last year, earlier this year, earlier, maybe, no, it was January this year, January last year, I don't remember, it's, I can't find it, I don't know where it's at, probably going to need it eventually though, I don't see it anywhere, I'll have to wait for your daddy to come down here and tell us where it is, he might have, you might put it somewhere. A red one walked out. Yeah, I saw from the window of the shop. Okay. Okay, that means just one more left in there. So. Oh, there he is. He came up closer. Danny boy. Hey, sweetheart. Hi, sweetheart. You're so handsome. Look at this handsome little face.
Come on, buddy. y'all that was that um they're loaded they're done everybody we got almost everybody we wanted there was only one cow that we would have liked to go but she didn't we she got let out accidentally so that's okay um all the bulls are gone and that is done and it went so much smoother than we thought it would honestly so that's good all right, thanks for hanging out with us this afternoon while we did cow stuff. I know I usually do goat stuff, but we do cow stuff too. So I'm glad y'all could join me for that. Until next time, keep on the sunny side.